In question 4 of this exercise, we are given these 4 rational numbers 3 by 4, minus 5 by 8, minus 7 by 4 and 7 by 8 and we have to draw the number line and represent each of these rational numbers on the number line. So let's start with the first part in which we have to plot 3 by 4. We first observe that 3 by 4 is positive and it is less than 1. So 3 by 4 it will lie between the integers 0 and 1. Now let's draw a number line and let's make integer markings on this number line. So let's say that this here is 0 and this is 1 and this is 2 and so on. Now 3 by 4 will lie in the interval between 0 and 1. To plot 3 by 4, let's divide this interval into 4 equal parts. The interval between 0 and 1, let's divide it into 4 equal parts. And to do this somewhat accurately, you can first divide the interval into 2 equal parts by plotting the midpoint of 0 and 1. And then you can divide each half into 2 equal parts again, like this. So now you have divided the interval uh, between 0 and 1 into 4 equal parts. So starting from 0, if we now make 3 jumps of 1 by 4 to the right, like this, then this point here, this point, it represents the rational number 3 by 4. So this is how you can represent 3 by 4 on the number line. So this completes part 1. Then in coming to part 2, we have to plot minus 5 by 8. Now we note that minus 5 by 8 is negative but its magnitude which is 5 by 8 is less than 1 and this means that minus 5 by 8 it lies between the integers minus 1 and 0. Okay. Now let's draw a number line and let's make integer markings on this number line just like we did in the previous part. So let's say that this is minus 2, let's take this here as minus 1 and this here as 0. Okay, um, now minus 5 by 8 will lie in the interval between minus 1 and 0. So to plot minus 5 by 8, let's divide this interval into 8 equal parts. The interval between minus 1 and 0, let's divide it into 8 equal parts. And once again, to do this somewhat accurately, let's use the trick I described earlier. First, divide the interval into 2 equal parts by making the midpoint of minus 1 and 0. Then divide each half into two equal parts again like this and this. So half is uh, splitting an interval into half is easy. So that's why I'm doing it this way. Okay, so now you have divided minus 1 to the 0 interval into four equal parts and now divide each of these four parts into equal two equal parts again like this, this, this and this. Okay, so now you have divided the interval between minus 1 and 0 into 8 equal parts. So starting from 0, if we now make 5 jumps of 1 by 8 towards the left, like this, 3, 4, 5, then we reach this point here. This point here will represent the rational number minus 5 by 8. Okay, so this completes part this is how you can plot minus 5 by 8. Now coming to part 3, in part 3 we have uh, we have to plot minus 7 by 4. We note that minus 7 by 4 is negative and its magnitude which is 7 by 4 is more than 1 but less than 2. You can verify this, 7 by 4 is more than 1 but less than 2. Uh, in fact, you can write minus 7 by 4 in mixed fraction form as minus 1 and 3 by 4 and from here you can see that minus 7 by 4 it will lie between minus 2 and minus 1. Okay, so now let's plot it using this observation. Uh, let's make integer markings on the number line once again. So let's say that uh, this is minus 2, this is minus 1 and this is 0. Now minus 7 by 4 will lie in the interval between minus 2 and minus 1 and to plot this number let's divide this interval between minus 2 and minus 1 into 4 equal parts. So first I split it into 2 equal parts 
by plotting the midpoint and then I divide each half into two equal parts again like this okay now you have divided the interval between minus 2 and minus 1 into four equal parts so starting from 0 if we first make a full jump of one unit like this and then three jumps of 1 by 4 like this then this point here that we have reached this point is minus 1 and 3 by 4 or minus 7 by 4. You could also have done this part uh, by dividing the interval between minus 1 and 0 also into 4 equal parts. So if we divide the interval between minus 1 and 0 also into 4 equal parts and then if we make 7 jumps of 1 by 4 to the left like this. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 and 7 we arrive at the same point on the number line which is minus 7 by 4 okay so that's how you can plot minus 7 by 4 and now finally come to let's uh, come to part 4 in which we have to plot 7 by 8 we note that 7 by 8 is positive and it is less than 1 so we can say that 7 by 8 it will lie between 0 and 1 okay so let's draw a number line now and let's make integer markings on this number line so let's say that this here is 0 let's take this here as 1 and this as 2 and so on so uh, because 7 by 8 lies in the interval between 0 and 1 let's divide this interval into 8 equal parts so first I split it into half then I split each part into two equal parts again so so far I've divided uh, the interval into four parts now let's divide each part into two equal parts again so we do, uh, this is how we can do this so now I have divided the interval between 0 and 1 into eight equal parts and now starting from 0 if we make seven jumps of uh, 1 by 8 to the right like this we arrive at this point here this point here will be 7 by 8 Okay, so this is how you can plot the rational number 7 by 8. And with this, we have completed question number 4. To learn more about how QMath can help you crack school and board exams, explore QMath Leap, a live online classroom program run by highly experienced and committed teachers.